Hello, Capricorn. We're giving you a bonus reading. The universe picked you next for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm looking for, like I always say, new energies and hopefully positive energies for Capricorn. Bonus reading for August, the end of August, starting today, 2020. Remember, it doesn't always end there. It starts there, but it doesn't always end there. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn. I'm using the deck, the Naked Heart, again. Like I said, I always look for, you know, positive readings, but we don't get one. We work through it. And as you know, it will not resonate with all Capricorns. Capricorn Sun Moon Rising bonus reading for August 2020. Let's see what the income and energy is for Capricorn. Hmm. Three of Cups. Capricorn, some of you may be overindulging. Maybe you're partying too much. Maybe you need to get out. You know, that could be it too when it's in reverse, the Three of Cups. And, you know, it's about going out with friends and partying and drinking. Sometimes, you know, life gets in the way of that. You know, going out, enjoying yourself. So if you do go out and enjoy yourself, just make sure, you know, you take precautions. But, you know, you could do whatever you want. It's your life. Four of Cups, you're going to be offered something or you've been offered something in the past and you may have thought it was boring or dull. Or maybe you just, you know, or just bored. You know, that could be it too. Maybe you're a bored panda, you know. Obstacle. Mother of Cups. For some of you, you're dealing with a water sign that maybe got you off kiltered. Um, mother, of, mother of Cups can be a cancer type energy or motherly type energy. Or someone that with the emotional nature that is the obstacle. Even you, even though you are a Capricorn, you know, earth sign, you can take on this energy. You know, you don't have to be a cups energy, you know. Six of swords. You will be moving on from a troubling situation. Not a pretty card, a turtle. Six of swords. You will be moving on from troubled waters, okay? We'll clarify these. Plus, I'll be giving you that mini love reading. You know, you pick a, pick a card, pick an energy, pick a path. Um, love reading, mini love reading at the end here. If you don't want to know about love. Hmm, Eight of Swords in reverse. What is coming towards you? Someone wants to come out of feeling trapped and bound. Someone you know, they feel tied down. They feel kind of uh, where they can't get out of a situation. We'll find out what that's about because they're coming towards you, by the way. Five of Wands and they don't want to fight with you anymore. Okay, someone you may have an argument with. Maybe you didn't like what someone had offered you too. You could have had an argument when you all went out drinking or whatever. Maybe someone had liquid courage and they spoke too much, whether you or the other person, it doesn't matter. But I do see that could happen if you're not careful. If it hasn't happened, then, you know, you're lucky, you know. But if you're having, like, a discussion with someone over-emotional, you will move on from troubling situations. But i got to find out what that Eight of Swords is about that's coming towards you. Now, in the past, you got the Four of Cups. Let's find out what that is first. So, Four of Cups in the upright. I need two cards, please, for Capricorn. The Hierophant. Yeah, you didn't like what... You felt like someone wanted you to conform to their way of life, and you don't like it. Page of Water. Yeah, you didn't like what they were offering. You felt it was over-emotional. It wasn't for you. You didn't like the message. It probably left you a little emotional. It was too much. It was too much drama, okay? And you didn't like what was offered. Could be from the Mother of Cups. Could be a Cancer-type individual. Well, like I said, not necessarily. But they are your obstacle here. So I need two cards for the Mother of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Two cards, please. Nine of Earth. Yeah, someone's not feeling real independent, and they feel like they're not getting a lot of gain in life with the Mother of um, Cups. Seven of Air. And you, someone may have felt like you were doing something underhanded, or you might have felt they're doing something underhanded. And, and you may feel like, you know, you may lose money on it. They may feel like they lost money on you. You may have argued over money. Um, not telling someone how much you spent. It could be all those things. And this got to do with your work situation, too. You know, with the money situation, you may have felt like someone was being a little deceptive to you. You know, your career. Or it could be family, too. But what you got, uh, the current environment, what's going to happen as we speak today, you know. And, you know, it starts now and, and keeps on moving forward. The Six of Swords. You're going to move on from a troubling situation. So the Six of Swords in the upright... I need two cards, please, for Capricorn. If 
five of earth. You're going to move on from not having enough money, not having enough finances, feeling like you're abandoned. You're going to come out of that, okay? Um, Sun and Capricorn. And you're going to... Um, you're going to try to start saving money again. It's going to take a little bit, but you're going to start doing it. You're going to try to come out of that not having enough. You're going to move on from that troubling situation is what I'm trying to tell you. But the outside environment, like I said, you got the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is somebody who's feeling trapped and they want to come out of feeling trapped. They feel bound and they can't get out of the situation. It's more of a mental type energy. They actually can get out of it. They just don't feel like they can. So someone that's coming towards you feels really trapped about something. So the Eight of Swords in reverse. I need two cards, please. Two cards for Capricorn. Ace of Air. Yeah, I think they want a new beginning and they may speak their truth to you. Yeah, move, they want to move on from troubling waters too. So someone wants to move on from troubled waters with you and they don't know how to really express it, but they may actually express it to you. So I mean, you could be dealing, you know, with an air sign. It says Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but not necessarily. But we do see a lot of air here. We see a lot of earth, which is your sign. But we see cups energy. We see fire. So all the signs are here. So, and I'm dealing with a lot of Capricorns. Now, at the end, someone doesn't want to argue. They don't want to battle. They don't want to compete, you know. So, the Five of Wands in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Capricorn. See what's going on here. Two cards, and then we'll do the love reading. Two cards for Capricorn for the Five of Wands. Yeah, they don't want to fight anymore, but... Yeah, they want to resurrect the situation. They don't want to battle anymore, okay? You got the endings in reverse, but someone is still feeling a little down and out. They feel like someone has done them wrong. So they're still in their mind in that trap feeling. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like it is going to move on from this. You will move on from this troubling situation. Um, someone wants to resurrect uh, maybe a breakup. Maybe you broke up with somebody or cut them off. A work situation. Maybe a friendship a family member, but someone does want to rectify a situation. They want to um, come towards you again and speak their truth. And maybe they still feel a little slighted, or maybe you still feel a little slighted. Someone definitely did someone an injustice, but the other person doesn't want to fight anymore, and they want to move on from a troubling situation. Eight of, eight of Earth in reverse. But in the end, and I'm talking about, it's like I said, it starts at the end of August into... Um, September, and I will be giving you a September reading. I don't feel like you want to put the work into something right now, even though um, you are moving on from this situation, a troubling situation. You're not going to be putting, how can I say it, everything you have into it right this minute. You're going to let that energy disperse first, you know, because I still feel people feel like someone did them an injustice. They feel like was someone done something um, wrong and sneaky and, you know, underhanded. And I do feel like the person on the outside is feeling a little trapped and they want to say something to you. They want to move on from a situation, but it's like, I feel like you're having that trouble who, who goes to the other person first situation. I feel that's it too. So you're going to have trouble working. It's going to take work, but it's like, one or the other may not put all the work into it just yet. They will eventually. It, you know, it's just a little avoidance. But I do see that moving on from a, a negative situation into a more positive one. But let's do the love reading. We'll do the angel love cards to find out about love. Because like I said, this got to do with your work, your family, you know, a money situation. But I need three cards for love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Three cards for the starting at the end of August, the beginning of September. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, like I said. I give these bonus readings at the end because sometimes, you know, we need more information what's going on in the world with Capricorn. And I get three from the angel answers also. We always know want to know what the angels have to say, all the angels. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, hopefully positive energies for Capricorn. New energies, positive energies for Capricorn. Starting now, starting today. About love. 
I'm feeling hurt feelings. I'm feeling that, you know, someone was really hurt over a situation. If someone said something to them. Well, let's do the Moonology cards. Three cards from the Moonology cards. Give you more advice about love. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Starting today. Three cards, please. I do feel like you're dealing with someone who's feeling real emotional and trapped right now. And they do want to move on from a situation with people being stubborn. That's the word I'm looking for, stubborn. Okay, for those of you that pick this section, like I said, you could pick a pile, pick an energy, pick whatever you want, okay? That'll be your main energy. But I, pick a, I bring them all together anyway for secondary energies because they all, a lot of times, do come together. And that's just the way I read. But if you pick this section... There could be an engagement. Someone may want to commit to you down the line, okay, for real. But it's saying to get more information because maybe you're not here and everything or finding out more about the situation or finding out what they want from you. But if you do, you could lead to a commitment in some way and believe in the, pos in the impossible. You know, once in a blue moon thing. It is, you know, what you think is impossible is actually possible. Okay, when it comes to love, get to know the person, you know, be relaxed, calm down, move on from troubled waters, get to know each other. Again, if you haven't, you know, if you need to reevaluate your situation, if you don't know them that well, maybe it's a new person, get to know this person. Because in the next few weeks, things will unfold in your love life. Okay, in the next few weeks, things will change a bit. Get more passionate and have faith in your dreams. Some of you feel down and out. Do not. Do not give up. I say that all the time to Capricorn. If you pick this section, there, the person that's coming in, if it's not a past person, if it's a new person, you're going to meet someone that really could be the one, okay? The person you're going to be, especially if I take it, you know, I said, you know, I bring them all together at the end, but if I bring them all together now, in the next few weeks, it says this could be the one, okay? This could be the one, and your love life will be improve. So someone you're going to meet is going to be the one, okay, very well. And your love life will improve, so don't don't be fearful. Work through those fears that um, all relationships won't work, you know, because you're having these overall fears. Oh, this person may not be for me, or they may deceive me, or it just won't work, or nothing ever works for me. Get that out of your head. Work through them. Get rid of it. They're all, it's too deep-seated. Move on from that, and you will. You will, but you got to work on it. You got to want to do it. You got to push yourself forward. I feel like you're going to have a commitment with somebody in the next few weeks. You're going to think that this person is for me. I really do think that. Get more information if you're not sure. Um, you'll find out they are. But you know, go ahead. Don't worry about asking questions. You should be able to ask questions without people freaking out on you. And be open with people and believe in the impossible. Because yes, love can come in, even though you may not feel like that is possible. Get to know the person. You'll find out they're a really great person to you know, be with. And it will happen within the next few weeks. Have faith in the dreams. Do not give up. I see too many times Capricorn gets down and out. And they just sometimes won't even go outside. So it's time to go out and not give up, okay? Because the person you're going to be uh, dealing with or going out with or having dinner with or whatever, talking with, they really could be the one, okay? And your love life will improve. Believe that your love life will improve and work through those negative fears. Let them go. Let those troubling waters go, okay? I'll be giving you another um, reading soon, probably in September, early September. So if you want to see more about this, it could take off, um, you know, from this, a new reading, another reading, or we get a whole new uh, energy. It's up to you if you want to see it. Um, please subscribe and please leave a comment and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.